Le Musée des beaux-arts de l'Ontario vibre cet automne au rythme du chanteur David Bowie. Il reste encore une semaine pour découvrir l'exposition itinérante consacrée à cette icône musicale. Notre collaboratrice Lolita Dandois a visité l'exposition pour nous. What they were really looking to do was tell the story of the, um, you know, what inspired Bowie, the context in which he worked, the process of, of producing the work, and the influence that he's had on the broader culture. And that's really the story that is told in the exhibition. I know that David Bowie has an enormous archive Everything was kept. And uh, do you have an idea of the process uh, that took place to select the items that were actually going to be in this exhibition? Yeah, I think the first part of the process was convincing the people who run the archive, who in turn report to Bowie, because it's his archive, that they had a good project in mind, because no one's ever really had access to it before. There's 75,000 objects in the archive that Bowie has collected over the years, which is really crazy and fortunate for us because it really tells a, a, an important chapter of cultural history. In the end, uh, curators from the Victoria and Albert Museum in London uh, were, were granted access and they selected 300 objects. How would you say that he did influence our culture, uh, specifically in the arts world? He was chameleon-like, so he showed that you could do that, that you could keep reinventing yourself. And I think that that's not only important for musical artists like Madonna or Morrissey or whatever, but it's also key for a visual artist like Jeff Koons. He brought fashion into what he was doing, not for the first time in popular music, but in the most aggressive way and in the most uh, innovative way. And before that, it was the Supremes mm -hmm. and you know, Yves Saint Laurent gowns and that kind of thing. But he was doing really crazy stuff with Yamamoto and Freddie Beretti and that sort of thing. He then has an influence on people like Alexander McQueen. He then hires Alexander McQueen to produce you know, costumes for him on, on more recent tours. The influence was very circular in a, in a really great way. David Bowie always reinvented himself, music-wise and fashion-wise. What would you say was your favorite David Bowie costume? During this exhibition, I really became interested in some of the crazier costumes that Bowie had during the Aladdin Sane period. And this is when he's working with the Japanese designer Yamamoto, and, and uh, these are really outrageous outfits. Mm -hmm. 